Welcome everyone to another video with your favorite engineer on F123. Yes, another video. There will be plenty more to come, of course. This time around, I want to test out this little thing, my controller. Codemasters and EA have told us that they have worked on what they call the precision drive technology, a new way that should improve accuracy with the controller. So we're going to put it to the test and see how it works. For all you controller players out there, this one's for you. If you're on wheel, sorry, this might not be your video. But maybe, just maybe, controller is viable again. Uh, 22 was arguably one of the worst years for controller players. So let's see if 23 is going to be better. We are going to jump into uh, Lando Norris's McLaren at Silverstone. There is no better combination than that. And we're going to do a proper race, not just time trial. We're actually going to be racing. So here we are then. Let's jump right into it and uh, see how we're going to do at Silverstone. I have to admit, one of my worst tracks, generally, at least in previous F1s, it's always been a track where I struggled. I think in part because of controller, because, you know, the control uh, with the gamepad just wasn't good enough. And so and maybe this year I'll actually be good at Silverstone. That would be a very big surprise. Let's see how we can do with equal performance on, by the way. Let's see how we can perform in qualifying. You hear the Mercedes engine. We get a bit of uh, frame drops. Apologies for that. That's my computer. Well, we are P1, but it is equal performance. We can see P2 is right there. Oh, bit of a moment there. Had to adjust slightly. And Hamilton got us because that was horrendous. P6 now, P5. Can we beat Verstappen? Yes, we can. P1, ladies and gentlemen. We love to see it. I even unlocked an achievement there. Didn't see what it was in the corner, but uh, yeah, even got an achievement there. And uh, I mean, that is close. Hamilton? Oh, Hamilton must have really messed up the final quarter. Wow. That's a huge mistake. Perez 19th. After qualifying, I have to admit, I can already feel the precision. It's called precision drive for a reason. Uh, the precision is increased. I, I feel I have more say over where the car goes than I had in previous years. So it's a good start. It's, it's certainly an improvement for controller players if you are... One of those uh, a bit more casual, but not always casual. Louis Welch, I'm looking at you. Um, <laughs> for those of you who know Louis Welch, you know. Um, if you know, you know that kind of deal. But if you're a controller player, this is definitely the game for you. I'm impressed by how much more accuracy I feel like I'm getting compared to 22. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. I'll try my best, Mark. I'll try my best. So here we are then for the race. Uh, we have qualified P1. We got 1.1 laps of fuel extra in the car. I don't know what for, but uh, sure. We see the new uh, wheel layout as well, the new steering wheel layout. And uh, tires are at 70 degrees right now. I think that will change before we start the race once we load in and can actually uh, take control of the car. I think that will go up to probably 90 Let's hope, at least. I don't want to start on cold tires. But here we are, then. Let's jump right into it and start the British Grand Prix. So, rev range is around 8,000 to 9,000. That was a long hold. Ah, uh, Verstappen's almost alongside. Okay. Leclerc immediately losing a position off the start. Oh, <sighs> uh, went a bit deep. But we got the inside. Unlucky, Max. Unlucky. Right, so I can, without traction control, fully accelerate in third gear. And the car does not turn around. With full steering as well. It's almost too stable, but it's not. 
It's absolutely fine. Oh, the responsiveness of the car is so good. Okay, Max, I see you. I see you very closely, my guy. Just leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. He was tucked in underneath my diffuser. As he should be, to be fair. Oh, look at how smart he is. He realizes it's turn one. That's not the corner to overtake in. And he pulls back. Now, can we drive away from Max or something? Or is this going to be a five-lap battle? I think that's going to be a five-lap battle, to be honest. Although, we've got almost nine-tenths on him now. Make that a second, just for a little bit. There we go. Can we escape from the clutches of Max? We're staying in seventh gear for that. That's the auto gearbox not being willing to shift down as much as it used to. The way you can now run over curbs without losing the car too much is... Ah, uh, except for that one. Right, we're just gonna cut that. <laughs> 1.2, 1 1.3 almost to Verstappen. Cops is easy now. You just know how to drive. Which apparently I forget from time to time. Oh! The responsiveness, I did not expect that. That was so much. That, that, it turned in so much more than I expected. My days. So yeah, in case you're wondering about my gear choices over the course of this video, um, that's automatic gears. Oh, here we go. Nope, you're getting blocked. I was a bit asleep there and I just hit him. Whoops. My bad, my bad. FIA, you saw nothing. <laughs> Um, final lap of the race. Let's see if we can hold on to this victory. Uh, a little bit deep. Yeah, the one thing I'm gonna notice, or I have noticed, is that I'm pretty sure I'm running too high wings. I think around a second like Silverstone, you can probably run much lower wings than this. Oh, Leclerc and my battling, that helps me. I have no ERS though. Oh no, we're going three wide. That's not going to work. Ah, don't turn it on me. Right, I squeeze you off. That works. Just don't spin in the final quarter. Let's not pull a Jamie Mills here, and I don't mean hacks by that. We have come home in a McLaren with Lando Norris P1. It took a lot of defending, though, and uh, my ERS management was quite shoddy. But again, I think... We have seen in previous years, the lower wings you run, the more ERS you recover, which makes sense, right? Because the wings slow down the car, the drag of the car slows it down. If you have low wings, you have low drag. If you have low drag, the battery recharges more because there's more energy being put into it. So I think uh, running lower wings is still going to have the same effect of um, being uh, a bit better in this regard when it comes to energy recovery. So around a track like Silverstone, you probably want to run lower wings than what I ran with 25-27. I would actually assume that the wing settings are going to be very similar to 2022. Maybe a little bit up or down, but that would be for almost all circuits except for Monza and Monaco, which are always the extreme points. One thing I've also just noticed is the return to map button that you now find at the end of the race. I think because it doesn't work. I press the button, nothing happens. Because I'm pressing it 50 times before it opens. I think what this is for is it returns you to the F1 world map, which is a nice little feature to get you right back into F1 world at the end of a race. Obviously, you can still save the full race replay, um, watch the replay, watch highlights, race director, restart the session. All those buttons are still there, but return to map is new, and I'm interested to see what it does. My, my guess is F1 world. So, final verdict on controller, on precision drive technology. I like it. I like it a lot. I think for controller players, F123 is a huge step forward to 22. Controller feels a lot more precise, as it should based on the name, 
a lot more accurate. You know, you feel like you have a lot more control over the car. And the car generally just feels better as well. So you take the handling changes together with the precision drive. And you have something here where controller drivers can challenge those on the wheel again. Maybe not quite as quick. I don't think you'll make it into F1 Esports uh, Pro Series with a uh, pad. I mean, of course, once you do make it there, you'd have to use a Fanatec wheel anyway. But I don't think you'll make it there with controller. But you'll get close. I think uh, F1 Esports Challenges is definitely possible with a pad. I think we might see the resurgence of Louis Welch. Uh, and I personally would love to see that. I've commentated over him many, many times. With that, though... Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new for more F123 content. Like this video if you are a controller player like me. And I will see you for more F123 content. Until then, goodbye.